Well, a Tulsa woman says she was wrongly fired for using medical marijuana, and she reached out to Two Works for You, saying that THC had showed up on her drug test. But she says this was after her new employer told her that she would be able to keep her job because she had her mar medical marijuana card. Our Dane Hawkins went to work for you, discovering how the situation calls into question your rights at the workplace when it comes to medical marijuana. The woman who reached out to us wanted to remain anonymous because she's currently looking for employment for the first time in seven years. The company she had been working for was bought by a different corporation, and she says that's when her problem began. It's just heartbreaking that I would lose my job after seven years over this. A Tulsa woman who wants to remain anonymous now has no way to pay for the roof over her head. Uh, I just bought a house. It's going to greatly affect me. She was working as a supervisor for Ganebo Industries, who accepted her medical marijuana card, even if a drug test showed THC in her system. When the medical marijuana laws bill came in, we were, they honored that. And as long as we didn't come to work or distribute it or just have it at work or be under the influence, it was okay. Ganebo Industries was acquired by Crosby Group in May of this year. So she decided to talk to the Human Resource Department to make sure she was still allowed to use medical marijuana. When the Crosby Group came in and bought us, I was very vocal. I asked uh, the Director of Human Resources from the Crosby Group, I asked him if they honored the medical marijuana card. He said yes. But after she and other employees retook their employment drug test for the Crosby Group, that was not the case. The only follow-up conversation I had was whenever they handed me my termination papers and said, we're terminating you as of December 31st, but you will, you cannot no longer work here because you have THC in your system. Which came to her as a shock. Well, what's the point of having it? What's the point of having the card if you can't have a good job? 20-year veteran lawyer Michael French says situations like this will only become more common. It's still in its infancy, the medical marijuana. There haven't been enough cases that have gone to the Court of Criminal Appeals. And there's some maturity as to the chain of uh, liability that would attach to it. And he says that means different companies can approach medical marijuana in different ways. The fact that you happen to have legal permission to use it for health reasons doesn't mean that your employer has to uh, accept that. The Crosby Group Code of Conduct brochure states, we must comply with all laws and regulations regarding the use of possession of alcohol, illegal drugs, and controlled substances. And while she did know and follow the policy, she claims she wasn't properly made aware of the company's marijuana policy. Problem is, is if they would have said that in the beginning, me and other employees would still have our jobs and we, we could have cleaned up. They never told us about their, their medical marijuana policies. If you have a medical marijuana card, French says get the okay from your company in writing because... No way to predict in what way it could impact employment because there hasn't been any precedent. It hasn't been explored yet. Medical marijuana is not accepted in all states. We reached out to the Crosby Group multiple times earlier today, and we haven't gotten a response yet, but we will let you know when they do respond. In studio, Dane Hawkins, Two Works For You. Now, Oklahoma's medical marijuana law says that employers cannot take action against an employee solely for having a medical marijuana license or results of their drug test shows positive for marijuana or its components. Now, that law allows employers to take action against a medical marijuana license holder if that person uses or possesses marijuana at work.